Hey everyone, it is Monday, January 22nd, 2018, and it's time to go to work on music. Uh, it's been a fantastic day, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session as usual. I'm gonna hit some online classes here, update you guys with what I'm doing on that front. Going to hit a uh, super light guitar practice, might skip over that just uh, in the interest of time. And then going to spend some time checking the pre-chorus drum parts I tracked yesterday going to start working on the uh, new drum parts for the new song, going to finish the horn arrangement um, for the new song in the bridge, and then going to start working on the guitar solo for the new song. And once I get the horns and guitars done, I'll be able to track drums through the entire tune. But I'm going to start working on the beginning sections with the drums, because those are already pretty much tracked rhythmically. So, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions as we go. Let's get right into it. All right, truly excellent first half of the day there. I'm getting much better at fending off distractions, which uh, is just tremendous. And I think a lot of that's the result of some of the losses I've been taking the last couple of weeks and just in some ways struggling to get in the zone uh, this year. But I definitely feel the last couple of days like I'm really locking in and I'm, I'm developing my new habits and I'm encouraging them and repeating them. And now it's becoming a little more second nature, which is fantastic. And a lot of that is the product of mistakes and screwing up and, and reflecting on the pain of that. So happy about that. Uh, got into the online class front and started thinking about um, automated email service providers and what route I might want to go there, just comparing prices, seeing what's out there. And there's quite a bit, so that might take some time. Uh, then I jumped into a quick guitar practice, and I'm just loving my new approach there, just practicing more musically, using just improvisation and scales, saying the note names in my head of the scale, moving around the neck, just kind of trying to memorize the neck and note names in a more musical and fun way. And I recently learned that your brainwave state actually uh, can impact how efficient your learning is, and we often learn in like the most relaxed awake state that we're in, which is sort of like a meditative kind of enjoying state, or like when you're listening to music or just watching TV or something like that, your mind is sort of more open to taking in that new information and storing it, which is really fascinating. So trying to capitalize on that. Um, did some more minor pentatonic stuff. I'm moving forward on that front. That's been fantastic. I'm going to keep going with that soon. And then uh, listen back to, I uh, took a short break, did some reading. Took a break, did some reading from the Mixing Secrets for the Small Studio book, uh, rereading that guy, and was just getting some tips on balancing the low end in, in sort of un imperfect rooms. And one tip is to use a spectrum analyzer on the entire mix. So um, I had forgotten about that for some reason, so I put a mix, I put a EQ band analyzer on my master bus, and I'm going to use that going forward and, and uh, start looking at some reference tracks because he says like each analyzer that you use has sort of its own quirks so you want to get used to using one and kind of figure out the nuances of that and look at commercial productions through it so I've got a couple reference tracks on my computer so I looked at those and spent some time just kind of thinking about them analyzing the frequency spectrums and kind of how good they sound which is really awesome and then I am looking for a good frequency analyzer for Spotify so if anyone has one of those let me know um, still searching 
then I listened back to the pre-chorus drum takes I did yesterday. Those are sounding really fun and fresh. It's a, a little, <laughs> a little maybe on the edge of comical the, the way they're tracked, but I don't, I don't know. It's kind of cool, so I'm gonna just stick with it and roll with it for now. And if I want to retrack them later, I will. But for now, the drums are in the book on that tune, which is amazing. And that tune, that first tune in this record is just it's sounding really good. I'm really, really happy with the way that that's come out so far, and there's nothing like getting some good results to just validate what I've been doing, and uh, I've been searching for this level of, of music making for so long, I mean, since the very beginning, and it feels like you know, I've really finally arrived at, at the level that I wanted to be at skill-wise as far as creating the music goes, and so now I think it's just about uh, raising the production and marketing and business skills to match uh, with that and then continuing that cycle of improvement hopefully forever um, and then I got into working on the drums for the new tune just listening to my sketches from yesterday trying out a couple different ideas and realizing the next step is to get the drum kit set up so that I can start hearing the sounds with the track bounced so I'll do that tomorrow because I just didn't want to do any more computer work in the early half of the session just wanted to move around so Gonna take a break, have some food, and dive back in in a few. But I'm searching for the answers to evermore. All right, fantastic second half of the day. Today overall was very, very good. I'm really improving my workflow and my ability to focus, like I said earlier. So jumped into the second half of the session, um, edited my sort of crappy Instagram post from yesterday. I really wasn't happy with it yesterday, but today I kind of got it to a place where I was really excited about it and sort of co-opted some of the text for it. And maybe I should have written something fresh. I don't know. Um, the, the main two things there are I limited the time I spent on it, which I think is really important based on what I was t talking about yesterday. It's so easy for me to get sucked into the, the layout and all that stuff, and it's it's fun. And you know, my instructor said you can you can spend hours on that stuff to really get it perfect, but I just don't know if I'm at that that stage. Um, well, here here's the thing. I'm just gonna limit my time on it on a day to day basis, and. You know, if it takes me three days to get a post really the right way, then I'll just spend that time, and then I'll just post less frequently or something like that. And my page, especially at this point, is in such its unbelievably baby infancy right now that I'm pretty much free to just do whatever I want and, and explore and learn and make mistakes and things like that. And now's the time to do that when I don't have a lot of eyeballs on it. And, you know, when it gets to the point of, of having more followers, then hopefully I'll have made those mistakes and I can avoid them. Uh, but yeah, I'm just getting my style down, kind of figuring out what I like, what I don't like, and uh, just seeing what works and what doesn't work as well, just on the vibe front. It's also a little tenuous because I'm not totally sure how this is going to harmonize with my brand, and the brand itself is in such an infancy right now that I'm not totally sure really what the market looks like or what my fan base looks like quite yet, so I'm really just playing right now and having fun with it. So that was great, and then uh, I finished editing yesterday's video, uploaded that, and then uh, got into some singing work, working on the chorus and the new tune, and so far so good. It's going very well, and it's, it's definitely better than it was yesterday, and definitely much better than it was the day before, and it's, it's close, it's maybe not quite there yet, um, but I'm working on it, and I'm optimistic, and I'm just going to keep hitting it until I get it to click, and I, just, I really just need it to click once and it'll probably be fine, but um, yeah, my range is getting better, my falsetto is getting stronger, and that's usually the weakest part of our voice as, uh, as beginning singers, is the falsetto, because we just don't talk like this very much at all, <laughs> you know, most, most of us don't. So just working on strengthening that so that I can hit those higher notes when I need to and keep it controlled, if that makes sense. Um, then I got, I'm sorry, I'm, t I'm tired by the end of these days, man, seven hours of, of intense focus, like, tr really trying to rock it, I mean, it's, it doesn't sound like much, really, like, I've worked 15-hour days, 18-hour, 20-hour days sometimes in my career, and it's just, 
if you have the right intensity, <laughs> you know, you don't you don't need a whole lot of time to 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 get tired. So it's good. I'm I'm really landing on the line, push my limits, getting better every single day. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm a little just like ugh. Uh, but anyway, from there I got into programming more horn parts, and I kind of wanted to get through the whole piece of that tonight, but uh, I just got as far as I could, and I'm pretty close to the end, which is good. Just sketching it out, using the guitar to transcribe by ear what I'm doing on the demo, just singing the horn parts, and then programming into the MIDI. And once I get a, a few bars down, I can usually just start drawing in by ear, which is cool, and then move things around. So getting faster, improving my workflow, and you know that's really the mission right now. Uh, so.